In this video, I'm going to show you the flex spline function in data curve fit creator adding. The flex spline function is a spline function that gives you a little bit more control over how your final spline curve looks, and it does this by allowing you to specify the slope of the spline curve at one or more data points. And uh, you'll see how all that works. So, in order to show you how that works, uh, I've got some sample data here. I've got some x and y values. The uh, x values go from a range of 0 to 30, and uh, the corresponding y values go from about 2 to about 8. Now, let's say that I wanted to put a spline curve through those points. Uh, I set up a column of values here uh, to calculate uh, the spline values uh, for this data. Now, uh, my sample data that I'm going to use, uh, it starts at minus 5 and it goes to 35, so it starts before my sample data and it goes until you know to after my sample data and first off let me try just a standard cubic spline and I'll show you what kind of results I get with that so uh, I'm gonna go and say equals and then hit the insert function button uh, now of, of course I've got data curve fit creator add-in installed here so under my user defined functions here I have a bunch of these uh, data curve fit creator functions and uh, the first one here cubic spline let me select that so first let me select the x and y values of the source data so these are the x values here now first thing I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit after I select those values I'm gonna hit F4 and you notice when I just did that you saw dollar signs appear in my range uh, dollar signs make that those cell references absolute references and I want that because I'm going to be copying this formula to a bunch of different cells and uh, I always want to be referring back to the same uh, source data so now let's choose my Y values select that range here hit F4 and now my new X value which is the first uh, value uh, for which I'll be evaluating this cubic spline for and that's my first uh, value, value there in the column I'll say OK now I've already wired up this plot to show the values here as a red line and you'll see it when I copy the values down so I copy down and you see it looks like a standard cubic spline now it looks pretty good by definition a cubic spline of course always goes through all data points in your data set uh, but you notice that uh, let's say uh, if we look at the at the uh, beginning and ends of our spline function you notice that at the ends the spline curve continues to uh, move up and at the, at the beginning it uh, continues to move down so if, if we were extrapolating out a lot it would be going continue to, to this, the curve would continue to move up now let's say that we didn't want that let's say that we wanted our curve to just flatten out and stay flat forever uh, before and after the data sets well how would we do that well that's a typical you know good example of where the flex spline would come in handy so let me go now and remove the cubic spline points and let me go and use the flex spline so I'll again I'll hit equal sign insert function this time I'll go and I'll select the flex spline say OK same thing select my X values select my Y values select my new X point which is the first point in our uh, sample data there and uh, this new argument here slope at each point this is where you can specify the slope at each data point and so for that I'm going to select this uh, column this bunch of cells right next to my data and I hit F4 again to make that an absolute reference I'll say OK and before I put any slopes in I'm gonna copy the values down and you can see that we get pretty similar results as we had before now I'm gonna go and I'll just label this column now and as I mentioned for one or more uh, of the points you can put in a slope value so as I said I want the curve to be flat at the beginning and at the end and to go on flat forever so what I'll do is for my first data point I'll put a slope of zero hit enter and you notice that this slope suddenly flattened out and for my last data point I'll put in a slope of zero and you notice when I hit enter this is going to flatten out and it does so this is just a way to give you a lot more flexibility a lot more control over your final uh, over your final uh, spline curve uh, you can try it out download data curve fit creator add-in from www.srs1software.com